A five-year-old boy from Western New York is in need of a liver donor. We'll tell you all about his story and how you can help up next. I'm here today with Karen and Ezra Tozik. Thank you so much for joining me on the Sweet Buffalo Show today. Thank you for having us. Of course. So today we're here to talk about Ezra and how wonderful you are, but also <laughs> about Ezra's journey. So tell me his story. Uh, sure. So Ezra is five years old. Um, he is adopted through foster care. He came to us when he was about six months old. Um, we knew he had health issues from the beginning, but... Um, kind of, you know, just got through one day at a time and, and figured uh, we'd face whatever when we needed to. Um, over the past year, he's, you know, been having some decline in his health. I've uh, been followed by his specialist locally um, and his team for a potential transplant uh, has been through New York City. So um, we had to travel this year after, you know, a bunch of tests have shown that his liver is really starting to fail. So um, next steps are a transplant for him. He was listed in February, and uh, there's been a strong push for us to uh, try to recruit a living donor. And and what's that, that process like? You guys are working really hard right now to spread awareness for Ezra. So what do you have to do to become a, a liver donor? Uh, so we have um, a link uh, to a website, it takes you to uh, the hospital programs um, site, and there's a questionnaire to fill out. Um, it's based on your blood type uh, being a match. He is O positive, so it has to be an O blood type. Um, and then uh, a donor can be between the ages of 18 and 59. Uh, just in general, good health with a healthy liver. Um, so it's it's not, as far as, you know, it basically it's not very uh, difficult um, criteria, but um, it's a slow process is what we're finding too. So uh, there have been some people willing who have submitted the questionnaire, um, have been sent to have their blood type um, blood work done and, and see if they're even a match that way. Um, and then the process does involve travel to New York uh, to have full evaluations and, um, and to see if uh, the donors are compatible, you know, to uh, donate enough healthy liver, you know, so that they can both have functioning livers. <laughs> And it's right now the most important thing is to to get Ezra a donor, but also this is financially costly for you and your family. Um, I know you just had an event, a fundraiser at the McKinley Mall. Um, there's also a GoFundMe. So if you cannot become a donor, another way to help is to to donate to your GoFundMe. Um, talk to me about your family. I know that you have a huge family, um, and and your family uh, is full of love, and you have a foster baby at home and and other children. So Talk to me about I that. I have a baby brother. I have Goose Bug Goo. Aw, and do you love your baby brother? Where's Goose? I thought he was coming with us. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, we've been fostering for uh, five years. Um, Ezra was actually our first placement, and... Um, and, and here we are. Uh, in the meantime, we've you know, continued to foster. We currently have um, an eight-month-old with us, and um, at home, we, we have three adult children who are um, out of the house, and we have seven at home right now. Is that right? <laughs> um, and uh, other than the foster baby and Ezra, the rest of them are our biological kids. Um, at home, we have uh, the age range is eight months to 20 years old. So um, we've got a full house, lots of help, lots of love. Um, so it's it's something that we love. I love the babies. Um, kind of always thought we would foster and, you know, be part of their story in reunification. Um, didn't really ever plan to adopt, but uh, when, you know, the uh, the situation kind of changed directions and we knew that that was going who to be what he needed, here? we couldn't imagine um, Mom, not, not staying here? through for good. So um, is, that's kind of the track we took and we couldn't uh, imagine not having this guy. <laughs> You, you're the you're, star. You're here. You're the star today. And then who's gonna come in this door? You are the star. You are the one. And someone has to come <laughs> here. Now, Ezra, tell me about yourself. What are your, your favorite things? We were talking about going to the gas station and you're telling me your favorite snacks and drink. What are some more of your favorite things? Um. Uh, you like Bowser? Yes. Yes, Bowser's cool. Do you know the Peaches song? Can you sing it for me? No. All right, all right. Maybe next time, right? Maybe next time we'll come back here and sing it. All right, that sounds good. I'll have to invite you back so you can do that. You can do a talent show for me. 
Peaches, 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 Oh, that's a beautiful song. High five. I love it. <laughs> so talk to me about um, traveling. Traveling, it's going to be um, a lot for you, and it costs a lot too. It's, you know, gas and expenses and hotels and How what have you. How should I take this off? Take what off? We'll do that after. In a little bit. We'll do that after. I went to a hotel. I went to the water slide. Oh, that we did go so to a much hotel. fun. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, his transplant team is in New York City, uh, so that's where surgery will be. Um, they have told us to expect uh, to have to stay with him there for about three months, maybe more, just kind of depending on how his recovery starts. Um, there's going to be, you know, multiple follow-up appointments weekly uh, for the first couple months, and then, uh, you know, it, it'll kind of taper off, but um, they want him close for that initial period of time, uh, which will mean me staying with him in New York um, and leaving everybody else home. So, uh, you know, the, the finances will be to help, you know, with the travel um, so that we can make our way back and forth you know, when possible um, to see the rest of the family and make sure that everybody's connecting. Um, also, you know, if we have a living donor and we can schedule the surgery and everything is on the calendar and planned, um, they hope to be able to put us uh, at the Ronald McDonald House. Um, but if we were to get a call with a deceased donor and need to kind of get in the car and go, there's no guarantee uh, that it's there would be availability. Me. So potentially um, we would need, you it's know, to have other arrangements. Don't touch, buddy. Um, and then, you know, just trying to work out the details of, you know, caring for our foster son and making sure that um, his needs are met as well. And uh, having our older kids maybe help travel back and forth um, to help with that sort of thing too. Um, so there's, there's kind of a lot involved. Um, and, you know, again, best case scenario, we're there for maybe three months without knowing for sure how it will go. We, it may be longer. So a lot, a lot going on, um, but the goal is is to help this little guy. And I know your mommy and daddy talked to you about how important it is to find you a liver donor, right? So I don't know. Well, it is it's important. So we're gonna we're gonna help make sure that we share your story and and we find you one, okay, little guy? I don't want to. I want to take this off. I know. So that's why we are going to we are going to end this story now, so you can get your microphone off. Does that sound good? Sure. Sure. All right. Well, thank you both so much for joining me on the Sweet Buffalo Show today. Thank I appreciate you. you. And I just think you're wonderful. And I've had so much fun hanging out with you today and laughing with you. Thank you so Don't much. Don't laugh at me one no, more time. We're laughing together. Don't laugh at me one more time. <laughs> you're quite the lovable little guy. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> For more episodes of The Sweet Buffalo Show, visit Sweet Buffalo on all our social platforms for sweet stories worth sharing. <laughs>